What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here, and today I want to talk about how I got uh, memory temperatures inside HiveOS on the dashboard for my uh, 30 series cards. Now this is mainly a concern for my 3080s and 3090s. I do have a couple 3070 Ti's and a 3080 Ti, but I'm not as worried about them since I mine Flux with them. I don't push the memory quite as hard as I would mining algorithms such as Ethereum or Ethereum Classic. Um, but let's go inside the computer here and I'll show you the GitHub page of where the command line is. And I'll post that in the description. I'll link to that in the description below. And I'll show you guys how I did it and some quicker ways of doing it, possibly even on your phone. So here we are on the GitHub page and some of this stuff up here doesn't really matter as much. You just wanna look down here at the Hive OS GDDR6X temperatures for NVIDIA GPUs. Now, these are the three miners that it's going to work with. So inside Hive OS, you are going to need to update your rig to the most recent one to make sure you're running one of these three miners. Now, a few of my rigs are mining flux. Like I said, and they're using mini Z miners. So this is not going to work on them. So I didn't even try. So some supported GPUs, you have your 3090s, 3080 Ti, 3080, and 3070 Ti. 3070s aren't supported at all, but they are claiming a few 3060 Ti's uh, mainly the EVGA 4 to win 3 and the Gaming X Trio from MSI are supported. Now I do have a 4 to win 3 3060 Ti, but that is on my Flux rig, so I can't confirm if this works or not. And you'll also need to make sure to run this BIOS apparently. Now GDDR6 GPUs, they have a small list here. Um, I do have a few 2080s and in my experience this did not work for them. Uh, I, I loaded it onto that rig and it didn't work. And I can show you that in the video also. But also remember to have their disclaimer here that this is experimental and it's a, an add-on to HiveOS. This is not part of HiveOS. So sometimes when you are doing it, even though you run the command line, you'll go back later and you won't see your memory temperatures no matter how many times you refresh. And you'll just have to rerun the command line, uh, which is pretty simple. And if you do it on the dashboard, it's in your recently ran commands. So here is the command line so we'll copy this just because it's easier and i don't we don't need to type all this in so we have it copied now let's go over to hive os here now we are in my for the win rig and i did do it on it so if i hit refresh you'll see that my memory temps are there and i just done this to confirm it so they're there and if we go to my 20 series rig you'll notice that they are not there um even though I refresh it. And when I talked about the recent commands, if I go to commands, it's right here because I ran this already from the dashboard. So I can just click it and run it if I wanted to. Um, but we can run it on this rig and I will show you. But my for the win rig, what we'll do, and you can see once I click on it, it doesn't show, but if I hit refresh, sometimes it just pops right up. Sometimes I need to redo the command line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into this one and show you guys from a remote access standpoint what it looks like. So if I'm on the, the main uh, login, I'm going to right click, paste from browser. This is where I'm going to paste the command line, click OK. Now it's, you can see that it's all in there. Click OK and it's going to load it up and pretty much done. It's done a lot quicker than if it were a first time to do it. Now that it's done, I can come back here and refresh the page and there's my temperatures again. Now, sometimes it takes a few refreshes. You have to wait a few seconds for it to kick in, but they are all there now and I can see them. Now the little graphs, they come back eventually also. Uh, it's just loading all the information right now. But if we go back to my 20 series and I'll show you, I still don't have memory temperatures on this. So the two 2080s for, in my, experience didn't work as far as it and neither did my 2080 super i'm assuming that if it worked on a 2080 it would work on a 2080 super it might just be an assumption of mine it may not be accurate but the memory temperatures did not work on that but my for the win rig definitely had them and it worked pretty well so that's how i got the memory temperatures inside hive os running the command line that was provided on github um you know i'll post a link to the github in the description you guys can use it at your own risk i mean it worked pretty smoothly for me the work around before when people got to see memory temperatures i didn't do uh, and then a couple miners implemented it so i used 
those miners already, so it was nice to see them. Now that I can run a command and get it on my dashboard, it's even a little bit nicer, but like I said, I hope Hive OS does adopt this and get it onto the dashboard for NVIDIA cards, especially going into the future. I don't see NVIDIA taking a step backwards. I feel like all their GPUs are gonna have memory temperature sensors uh, and then like next generation of cards. I know 3070 and down pretty much don't have it. I really don't expect it on a 3050 because you're not really gonna be pushing much memory on it anyway, but AMD seems to put it on all their GPUs. It's just one added sensor. So hopefully NVIDIA keeps using it and then Hive OS can show it on the dashboard so that we can better monitor our rigs. Now, like I said, a couple of them, my 3090 and 3080 running 90 degrees Celsius on the memory is a little bit high. Most people say 90 is fine, but I'm in a 60 degree basement right now. Currently, uh, we had a nice cold wave come through and I had fresh air getting pumped right in. And last time I checked, my basement was at like 61 or 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So that temperature is a little high for me. I do plan on doing some ther either thermal pads or possibly even doing a copper mod on them. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm a little worried about doing a copper mod. I don't want to break a brand new, or not brand new, but I don't want to break a 30 series GPU that's that high end. But I may go down that route because I've seen some great success when I can bring the temperatures down significantly for when I put them inside my grow tent. Um, but you know, let me know if you guys are using this command line, uh, if you have experience with it, if you've got 2080s to work with it, if I did something wrong, if I need to add something to it to get it to work, but I'd like to know your guys experience with it, but thanks for checking this video out. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more.